Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. IDEX is an initiative by Government of India to build an ecosystem to foster innovation and technology development in defense and aerospace by engaging innovators and entrepreneurs to deliver technologically advanced solution to Indian Armed Forces. The objective of IDEX is to engage industries including MSMEs, startups, individual innovators, R&D institutes and academia and provide them grants and funding and other support to carry out research and development work which has good potential for the future adoption in Indian Armed Forces and Aerospace. Now there have been many contracts signed for acquisition of the defense technology as a part of IDEX program. However, the one which has caught our attention is autonomous weaponized boat swarms for Indian Navy. Now this is a very interesting and niche concept in naval warfare. It has also proven during Russia-Ukraine conflict where Ukraine has been using uncrewed surface vessel against Russian frigates in Crimean port of Sebastopol. These vessels are cheap when compared to costly frigates and destroyers and can inflict huge damage to adversaries. On 5th Jan 2022, that is yesterday, IDEX has inked its 50th sprint contract with Saga Defense for autonomous weaponized boat swarms for Indian Navy. Now, this is one of the technology out of 75 challenges introduced by Indian Navy under Azadi Ka Amrit Motsav in 2022. Saga Defense has expertise to develop country's first weaponized autonomous unmanned boat with capability of swarming. The contract relates to an Indian Navy project of Defense India Startup Challenge DISC-7 Sprint Initiative and post-development of the weaponized autonomous unmanned boat, the Indian Navy is expected to place an order for 12 such systems. Last year in October, ahead of Defense Expo, DRDO has tested three remote unmanned weaponized boats in Pune. These boats were developed in collaboration with Saga Defense Engineering. The vessel is capable of relaying video feed to the ground control station and can be very useful for surveillance, reconnaissance and patrolling. It can also be mounted with a machine gun for insurgency operations. As per reports, the boat has an endurance of about 4 hours. Currently, the boat can sail at a maximum speed of 10 nautical miles per hour, but this can be further increased to 25 nautical miles per hour. Some variants of this boat uses an electrical propulsion system with lithium-ion batteries while others have petrol engine on board. The mission of Saga Defense is boat in a box to facilitate easier and safer unmanned marine surface vessels, vessel command control technology, navigational instruments and telemetry systems which will revolutionize the future. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.